I'm a deputy director of CBT Lab. That is today. I can't see my presentation. Today, I just want to share with you the value of the library through the, the lens of the external bodies. Uh, it's just, just going back to basics. We are, since yesterday, we've had speakers telling us all about the nice things that the libraries um, are, 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 are supposed to be doing and all the open access drive, all this uh, open science and all these things. But I just said, maybe I must just remind ourselves to say, guys, can't we just go back to basics? and look at why, why are we here, especially now I'm going to talk specifically for, for the academic um, university libraries to say why are we, were we established uh, in order to, um, to be able to uh, continue the program. Now, uh, let's look at the role of the university. Uh, uh, higher education is, is, is the driver of information and knowledge systems that contribute to the economic development. I just want to highlight that economic development. And every time I'm, I'm, I'm talking about uh, universities, universities is nothing without a library. So uh, the, the, the university means a library. So we are the driver of the, of, of, of the economic development to provide skills for the employment needs of the public and private sector, uh, producers of new, of new knowledge, and they uh, critique information and find new roles and global applications for existing knowledge. So uh, those are just, uh, um, these roles emanated from the National Development Plan. Uh, the, the whole country said, this is what we have, we, we need to, to, to do. But then I just want to ha also highlight within the National Development Plan that one of the targets for 2030 is that uh, one in every six person must be a graduate. I'm not so sure if you are winning on that. One, if you if you work in town, one in every six person must be a graduate. That's where we, we, we're going. Now, what is the value of library of the university libraries? In literature, somewhere when we, when we read, we always find that libraries are the heart of the university. So, in the coming slides. That's what I'm, trying, I'm going to prove, that are we the heart of the university or are we the university itself? Um, look at that. Uh, Shelboy Foote, one of the famous set in 1994, he said, no, the university is actually just buildings surrounding the library. So that's how, it, it, how, how, the, how high they value it. Did. Value is defined as the importance that stakeholders uh, 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 highlight that stakeholders attached to knowledge and library services. It relates to the per perception of actual and or potential benefit. That is uh, one of the ISOs, ISO standards. And then uh, in my own definition, I always say value is something that uh, has, something has value if you can't do without. One of the example, your hand, it's, it's, it's off valuable to you because you can't do without. Can we do without libraries? Let's go for it. Uh, now let's look, I'm going to look today, look at these uh, external bodies, uh, the Council of Higher Education, you know about, and establish in terms of the act. It's law. So it is uh, also um, responsible for the, uh, and, uh, the um, responsible for the uh, and, 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 and NQF and through its two bodies, which is SACWA and HQC. And then they are also looking at the lens of the professional bodies out there, the OXRC, your National your Nursing Council, Medical Councils. And then we're going to look at the ranking agencies. What are they saying about the library? Now, CHE role is to monitor and advise, and is to uh, program accreditation and reviews. They, they do accredit us and they also come back and review if you are still doing this thing accordingly. And then we've got your um, institutional audits and, and national standards, uh, standards for, for calculation, standards for reviews. They've got those standards as you will see them as, as we go. And then manage, man, uh, manage the HEQSF, that sub-framework of, 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 of the South Africa. And, and SACWAN, uh, it's, uh, its role is to register qualifications, is to verify 
uh, if the qualification exists. And anybody, any South African can call them to find out if the qualification is accredited or a particular university is accredited or a professional body. They also do a, a, a recognition of professional bodies, then evaluation of foreign qualifications and confirming of private higher education. Now, as you can see, those ones are the ones that always are come to ask, uh, to us and audit us, uh, our programs uh, from, from undergraduate up until postgraduate. And their specific functions are to promote quality assurance in higher education, audit the quality assurance mechanism of higher education institutions, and accredit the program offered by the higher education institutions. Now, the, we have, I'm just list, list a few. We have lots, I mean, uh, about 18 statutory uh, professional bodies and about more than 100, um, um, and, and not like, but let's say, voluntary statutory bodies like our LIASA is there as well uh, as one of the of the uh, prof professional bodies. Let's go to, to the actual um, uh, matter that we are here for now. Criteria for accreditation program. Uh, what do they say about libraries? Suitable and sufficient library resources exist which complement the curriculum. We, we must always uh, go back to basics and says we exist for academic programs, colleagues. We exist for student success. We exist to make sure that people do graduate. If you're going back to that national development goal to say one in six must be a graduate. So we, that, that's, that's where our value is, is within the academic program and, 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 and research in each areas, of course. Um, uh, in most highly researched universities. But for those um, uh, universities of technologies, this is a very much important one because we exist to, to, uh, to produce the skills for, for, for vocational work. So anything that we do that is outside our academic program is not necessarily. This is almost a law. This is says must. It's no ways. You don't have a choice. You must have um, a, a suitable and sufficient library resources to complement the program, provide incentives for students to learn according to their own needs, capacity and space, support appropriate professional scholarly activities. This is that must be there in the in, in, in the in the, in, in, the, in, in the library in order for that program to be accredited. That is the role of the library, how important it is. Now, um, let's look at the program reviews. There is also standards and criteria that is used to be able to review those programs. And many of you will, and will understand criteria seven, what is the most criteria that we always faced with when, we, when these bodies are coming to, to evaluate us. Uh, suitable and sufficient um, uh, 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 venues, IT infrastructure, library resources are available for students and staff in the program, policies ensure the proper management and maintenance of library resources, including support, access of students and staff, standard development for library personnel takes place in regular basis. Now, one, you, you, if this is a requirement and is something that needs to be complied with, one wonders why are we struggling with information resource budget? Is it a, is, is the formula, is the policy in the, that there must be a such and such a percentage allocated for library resources? In many universities, not. We always, uh, by the way, uh, we, 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 we will need um, uh, books. By the way, we need journals. But according to these um, uh, accreditation bodies, according to these bodies, it's something that needs to be a policy that is in place to make sure that there's sufficient resources uh, available. Now, uh, the, the one other standard is that one of, I just pick up one of the standard for the Bachelor of Commerce. It's written there also um, uh, 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 for, 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 for resources, libraries, databases, journals, in addition to that. So it's not something that an university is saying. It's somebody that, uh, remember, the, the, the qualification, there is many people involved in designing that program. You've got your, your professional bodies, you've got your, the business, 
you've got your university on the other side. We've got all the, the CHE committees, the SACWA and, and, and HQPC coming together to form what is called a qualification. If that qualification is formed, they also agreed that these library resources, spaces, staff, qualified staff, they always say skills and staff, needs to be in place in order for this program to happen. But why are we still suffering with resources? That is something else. Then uh, the Engineering Council, EXA, uh, this one's a problem, I can tell you. They once the visited me and then they gave me a really a, 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 something to run around. Um, the program adequately planned and resourced, led and executed to, to ensure that it is suitable and can't read properly there. <laughs> suitable over the period of accreditation. This is evidenced by the following. Out of all these things, I'm just going to see out today, library facilities is also mentioned in their, um, in their standard of, of, of manual for institutional audit, uh, criteria 6.6, .6, uh, Dr. Pallady. It's one of those uh, uh, criteria that's also given us a, 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 a run around when they, when they are looking for this. And academic staff development for professionals for teaching in various um, modalities, e.g. face-to-face blended learning or online, but mostly 6.6 .6 is talks about also resources, appropriate resources, size and mode of provision of institution actively support core academic functions. So those are the um, those are the are the professional bodies. Now they are also the other part of of the external bodies, which are the university rankings uh, that are very much important for for um, some other universities and. We, people are always bragging, we are bragging to say we are number one, we are ranked number two, but uh, many of those ranking agencies uh, that you can think of, um, uh, but I just uh, managed to just take the, the four of those, uh, especially the Times Higher Education, the ones that always rank us in the South African setting. Uh, uh, what is it that they are looking for? Let's look at their methodologies. Um, the QS says visibility it's weighted 50 percent of the ranking and uh, you will understand how libraries play a role in the making sure that our authors are visible out there and our 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 our, our knowledge products uh, thesis and dissertations conference proceedings general articles how are, are visible out there and we also push, the more visible they are, we also push the issue of uh, citations. Then uh, the more you visible you are, the more you are cited, and the more you contribute to your university uh, 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 visibility. So we need strategies around that. And then uh, transparency, openness, and then the number of citations from the top 10 authors. You see it's also citations. Then excellence, the number of papers amongst the top 10. So the more we, 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 we push and, and, and help our researchers to publish more, is the more we, 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 we also play value in university rankings, uh, pushing them up. The, the other one is the, um, the, the World University Ranking 2023 and Times uh, Higher Education. That is the criteria, the methodology they also use cycling all those i just want to uh, put your attention on the on the um, citations as well counting 30 percent and i've just explained how as libraries play a role in pushing uh, citations for our authors it's not just institutional repositories it's not that visibility but it's also helping our authors to be in all these uh, um, uh, academic uh, social medias your your your, your link in your your research gate your academia and making sure that they've got a profile a google profile they are they are visible on scopus are visible on web of science and all other uh, some some are even creating facebook page to make sure that they are being seen out there and it's one of the things that the library can do because we know better when it comes to that and the last one i think is the uh, ranking web I also want to highlight that the also um, visibility again you can see also count 
fifty percent, meaning that we've got a lot of uh, work to do in terms of making sure that our university are, are visible and known there. And then, out of all these university, uh, all of these external bodies, we started with uh, the SACWA, the HQC. We went to the professional bodies. We went to the um, to the university ranking agencies. What are the value constructs that we we we, we will pull out of that? So adequate information resources, librarians, what is adequate? That is where the thing we need to look at. What is adequate? In terms of adequate, in, the, in all the undergraduate program, we shouldn't be suffering but adequate because they are prescribed, they are recommended material, they are additional uh, material that is listed in each and every program. It's mandatory. They must list this and they must publish it. You shouldn't suffer to get that information. And all those that is listed there is in. But uh, we also have a leeway of um, of of of, ed of additional material uh, in into those. So we can if we study the outcomes, the outcomes of that uh, module or or subject. Each and every subject has an outcome. It's also mandatory. It must be there. If you do that, you can be able to pick up and find that books that are related to that program and 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 and, and, and uh, lead it. In CPUT, we have we are using it that using course reserves uh, that is linked to with Blackboard as well. So from the library side, we go to Blackboard. We also link uh, uh, books that the students need so that we make sure that they don't go uh, everywhere looking for the book. Now, um, adequate study and collaborative spaces. That is always a, a, a problem. And you, you will remember that spaces are issues. Even the student protest every time, 24-hour access to libraries. It's, it's, it's one of the things that we need to look at to say, in our future strategies, we make sure that what is adequate again? What is a, a, a ratio of maybe a space to student ratio, square meter to student ratio? Or whatever it is. So, as librarians, we need to come up with those things and then uh, to define that adequate. Then, as uh, skilled librarians, uh, we must check. Yeah, what what is what are skilled li li librarians? Uh, surely, here most of us are here to to also upskill ourselves of what is happening around the world. And uh, skills development it should be it should be shouldn't be something of again uh, by the way. It should be a mandatory because it is there required by those professional bodies uh, required by by SACWA in accreditation how many librarians do you have to support the programs how skilled are they to support the program and then again when we go to visibility the the, the, the i've explained a lot in terms of uh, that value construct called visibility what what are we playing in our university to, to, to make sure that our university is visible enough. Then uh, research en enablement. Research enablement means that we are now uh, pushing the issue of numbers, number of articles, because that also is important for university ranking to say how, how much are we publishing. Uh, before we can say is visible, it must be published first. Now, uh, ensuring adherence to, these are the value creation strategies, uh, ensuring adherence to qualification standards, we shouldn't wait for accreditation bodies to come. These things are available. You go to their website, you get a criteria, we just check. Each and every program needs to have adequate books, adequate space, skilled staff, and lastly, information literacy to, to teach them how to apply those resources within the assignment setting, within their, their academic, academic project. Adherence to program review criteria, meeting program accreditation standards, enhancing the visibility institutional knowledge, facilitating research output, and supporting impactful research and rankings. So um, after all this we've looked at, then this is the suggested um, uh, strategies that uh, library managers can look at and say, do we have this in place in our, in our uh, institution? Thank you very much for listening.